Good evening, and welcome to a special edition of our broadcast. Tonight we bring you an extraordinary story, a seismic shift in global technology, one that has its origins deep within a secure facility in China. Just hours ago, China made a stunning announcement. It has successfully developed and tested its own EUV lithography machine. This is a technological feat that experts around the world believed was at least a decade away, if not more. This breakthrough effectively ends the era, in which a single Dutch company, ASML, held a near-total monopoly over the world's most advanced chip-making technology, shaping the global tech landscape for years. The ability to manufacture cutting-edge semiconductor chips is the backbone of modern society. It underpins everything from artificial intelligence and smartphones to military hardware, electric vehicles, and even the infrastructure of the internet itself. Until now, ASML's dominance was fiercely protected by a web of international patents and strict US-led export controls, all designed to keep China and other competitors at bay. But the Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment Group, or SME, has now shattered that barrier, achieving what many thought impossible. This moment marks the rise of a new technological superpower, China, no longer dependent on the West for its most critical innovations and ready to chart its own course in the world of high technology. The implications of this breakthrough are truly global. It will ripple through supply chains, impact national security, and could even affect the price and availability of your next smartphone or laptop. The United States now faces the very scenario it worked so hard to prevent, China emerging as a true peer in advanced technology, challenging the established order. The race for technological supremacy has entered a new, unpredictable phase, with stakes higher than ever before, and outcomes that could reshape the global balance of power. Tonight we'll break down what this means for you, for America, and for the world at large. We'll explore how this breakthrough could change daily life, business and geopolitics, We'll explain the science behind this innovation, hear from leading experts, and analyze the political and economic fallout that is already beginning to unfold. Stay with us as we unpack this historic turning point in modern history and discover what the future may hold in this new era of technological competition. To grasp the magnitude of this breakthrough, let's demystify EUV lithography. Imagine drawing a city map onto a grain of sand, that's chip making. Engineers use light to etch microscopic circuits onto silicon wafers. The smaller the pattern, the more powerful the chip. Moore's law drives this miniaturization, but traditional deep ultraviolet DUV, light hit a wall. Enter extreme ultraviolet EUV light with a wavelength so short it's closer to X-rays, enabling chips with billions more transistors. Creating EUV light is a monumental challenge. It requires lasers, molten tin and a vacuum chamber filled with hyper-polished mirrors. The result is a 180-ton, $200 million machine, arguably the most complex device ever built. For over a decade, only ASML in the Netherlands could make it, thanks to a global network of suppliers. If you wanted the world's best chips, you had to buy from ASML, until today. For years, ASML's headquarters in Veldhoven, Netherlands, was the epicenter of advanced chipmaking. ASML's monopoly wasn't just business, it was a geopolitical choke point, leveraged by the US to slow China's tech ambitions. The Dutch government, under US pressure, blocked sales of EUV machines to China, stalling Chinese chipmakers like SMIC. ASML's CEO warned that isolating China would only accelerate its innovation, a prediction that's now reality. Western analysts believe China was at least a decade away from catching up, citing the complexity of the EUV supply chain. The assumption, no single country could replicate ASML's ecosystem, especially under sanctions. That belief shaped US strategy. Today, it's been proven spectacularly wrong. The world's technological balance has shifted overnight. The news broke not from a press conference, but a technical paper by SME, detailing their first homegrown EUV prototype, the SSA 900, the prototype achieved commercial-level chip production at the 7 nanometer node and below. This was the result of a decade-long $150 billion state-backed effort to break the Western tech blockade. Chinese engineers built a domestic supply chain from scratch, recruiting global talent and innovating on the EUV light source. The SME team didn't just copy, they reimagined the technology, forging a new path. The project's secrecy fooled Western intelligence, who saw only fragmented progress. China used the world's skepticism as cover, working in silence until they were ready to reveal their success. 
The dragon wasn't sleeping, it was building a new kind of fire. ASML's response was stunned silence, its stock plunged as the news hit markets. An emergency board meeting was called, but the company offered only a terse statement, we are analyzing the information. In Washington the news triggered a crisis meeting at the White House. U.S. officials scrambled to verify the breakthrough, realizing their containment strategy had failed. Lawmakers demanded answers, calling this, our generation's Sputnik moment. The U.S. must now rethink its entire approach escalate sanctions or accept a world where China is a technological equal. The very tool the U.S. relied on, control over EUV, has been neutralized. The choices are stark and time is short. The global tech order is being rewritten in real time. The world is watching to see what comes next. This isn't just a new competitor for ASML, it redraws the global tech map. China's EUV success creates a parallel technological ecosystem with its own standards and supply chains. Nations worldwide may soon have to choose a line with the US-led system or join China's emerging bloc. The most immediate flashpoint is Taiwan, home to TSMC, the world's top chip maker. China's breakthrough weakens Taiwan's silicon shield, potentially shifting Beijing's calculus on intervention. For consumers, this could mean faster innovation, or a fractured tech world, where devices and apps are no longer universal. The seamless global connectivity we take for granted is now at risk. The future of our digital lives hangs in the balance. The economic shockwaves are just beginning. The semiconductor industry underpins a digital economy worth trillions. China's entry into EUV will trigger a massive market recalibration. ASML and its suppliers face a future without monopoly pricing, wiping billions from valuations. For China, this is economic independence, no longer reliant on imported chips. Chinese tech giants like Huawei and Alibaba now have a domestic path to advanced chips, fueling new growth. TSMC and Samsung, once unrivaled, now face a state-backed Chinese competitor closing the gap. A global subsidy war may erupt as the US and EU pour more money into their own chip industries. Overinvestment and price wars could distort the market, even as innovation accelerates. The global economic playing field has been permanently altered. The race for semiconductor dominance is on. We spoke to a range of industry leaders and experts to get their perspectives on this seismic shift that is reshaping the global technology landscape. Dr. Chris Miller, author of Chip War, described it as the moment the US and its allies have long dreaded, a direct, high-stakes innovation race with China that could redefine the balance of power in technology for years to come. A former ASML engineer reflected, we thought it was impossible. We underestimated their capabilities and their determination to catch up. Now, we're seeing just how quickly things can change. He cautioned that while building a single prototype is a significant achievement, mass-producing reliable, cutting-edge machines at scale is an entirely different challenge. Still, the race is now undeniably real and accelerating. A Goldman Sachs analyst pointed out, the end of a monopoly changes everything. The real question now is, how fast can China scale up? And, what will that mean for global markets and investors? Political risk and supply chain volatility are quickly becoming the new normal, forcing companies and governments to rethink their strategies and contingency plans. A senior fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations summed it up succinctly. This isn't just about chips, it's about power, influence, and the future of global leadership. The country that leads in semiconductors will also lead in AI, quantum computing, and next-generation military technology, shaping the future of innovation and security. The US must now rethink its entire strategy, simply blocking China is no longer enough. Proactive, forward-thinking policies are needed. The call to action is clear, invest more in R&D, science education, and build stronger alliances than ever before to stay competitive in this new era. The era of stable, predictable tech dominance is over. Uncertainty and rapid change are now the defining features of the industry. The world must adapt to this new reality, where innovation, collaboration, and resilience will determine who leads and who follows. Where do we go from here? In a world that feels more uncertain than ever, this question echoes across boardrooms, laboratories, and living rooms alike. The world faces a new reality two superpowers, each capable of building the digital future, each shaping the rules of tomorrow's technology. The US and its allies must respond wisely, balancing caution with boldness and unity with innovation. Overreact and they risk accelerating global fragmentation, deepening divides that could last generations. 
do nothing, and they seed leadership, allowing others to set the pace and the standards. The new strategy? Invest massively in research and development, not to copy China's path, but to leap ahead to the next breakthrough. Innovation in advanced materials, quantum computing, and new chip architectures is now urgent. These are the building blocks of future prosperity and security. Diplomacy is equally vital. The U.S. must work with allies to set new tech standards, secure supply chains, and foster trust in a rapidly changing world. The goal? Offer a compelling, open alternative to China's state-driven model, one that inspires creativity and collaboration. This is not about containment or confrontation, but about leading with vision, courage, and relentless innovation. The story is just beginning, a blank page waiting to be written by those bold enough to shape it. This is a new chapter in the 21st century, one that will define the legacy of our time. The competition will shape our economy, society, and security for decades, influencing how we live, work, and connect. The world has changed overnight. The question is, are we ready to adapt, to lead, and to thrive? How will we change with it? The answer depends on the choices we make today. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Good night.